Hi kids. Today we are going to be using geometry and triangles to create an optical illusion by drawing triangles. Here is the finished product of what it's going to look like when you're done. All you need is a plain piece of paper. It can be notebook paper. It can be plain white um, printer or typing paper. You're going to find the middle of your plain right piece of paper. To do this, you fold your paper in half, make sure to match your corners up. Then fold it in half again. Again, make sure you match your corners up. Squeeze that corner that's solid. Open it back up. And now you have marked the center of your piece of paper. Now you're going to take a black crayon or pencil, draw a circle around the middle of your piece of paper. Now you are going to draw four straight lines. I would draw the first two using the mark from where you found the center of your paper. So you're going to draw straight down. Draw straight across. Now from here, you're going to go from each corner to the middle. Like this, and you're going to flip it. Go to the middle and go to the middle again. So, this is what your paper will look like when you're done. Now, you'll take your black and you'll color in the circle in the middle. Now, you're going to start with this block and you're going to draw what looks like a smile face. And this is what it will look like. Now, you're going to turn the next block and draw frown faces, starting here and drawing an upside down smile or a frown. See how I did it? So you're going to draw frowns. And then it will stop like that. Then you will continue doing this around your page. Now you're going to continue drawing these until your pattern is finished. Now when you're done, this is similar to what it's going to look like. You can choose whatever colors you want, but you're going to alternate coloring every other square using the colors you chose. So see, you will color every other square. with the color that you chose. Then the second color that you chose, I chose to use yellow and red on this one. You will color every other square. Now, you're going to color 
yellow, blank, yellow, blank, yellow, blank. So you're only going to color every other stripe on your triangle with the same color that you started at the top of your triangle. So you'll continue to color in. Then you're going to skip the white, color the bottom one yellow. It's a good idea to have a piece of blank paper underneath or scrap paper so that you don't color on the surface that you have your paper on. So you're just going to continue to color. So you're going to continue to color this. So you're going to continue to color until you have that area of the triangle. Every other space is colored in. Then you'll move to your next one. You choose your red color that I chose. You can do whichever. Make sure you only use two colors and make sure you use the same color. Don't alternate pinks and blues and yellows. You should only pick two colors to create your illusion. So now we've colored in the next part. We're gonna skip a white space. We're gonna move down, color in the next space. So now this is the way that this one is colored in. Of course, you can go back and make sure, because you don't want to be able to see the white. The more solid your coloring, the better your illusion is going to be when you're done. So then you'll just continue on. This one would be yellow, this one red, yellow, red, yellow, and red. And you base it by the point of your triangle. And you continue this until you are totally done. And when you're totally done and you hold your page up and you focus in on the center and look at it for a moment, it looks as if your coloring is rippling around the page. So this is just a fun way that you can use geometry using triangles to begin with and just inserting lines and coloring to make an optical illusion. Have fun. I would use crayons or markers while you're doing this um, and make sure that you fill in completely. You can draw the beginning that we did with a pencil so that if you make mistakes, you can go back and erase and then you can trace back over them with the black when you're done. Have fun creating optical illusions and rippled paintings with triangles and geometry.